In this lecture, we are going to discuss the role of nervous system in rapid control of arterial pressure. How the nervous system is basically playing its role in increasing the arterial pressure rapidly. So, the main points are increasing the arterial pressure and increasing it rapidly. So basically we are discussing a series of lectures about the nervous regulation of the circulation or we are discussing the role of the nervous system, the role of brain, role of spinal cord, role of nerves in regulating the circulation, increasing, decreasing the circulation and increasing, decreasing the heart rate. So how the nervous system basically increase the arterial pressure rapidly. Now we have discussed again and again that Inside, in the human brain, there is a center known as the vasomotor center. And in the vasomotor center, there are vasoconstrictor areas and vasodilator areas. So, basically the, the vasoconstrictor area and vasodilator areas they basically cause constriction and dilation of the blood vessels with the help of sympathetic nerves. Now this vasomotor area can cause sympath can stimulate the sympathetic nerves and they can also stimulate the parasympathetic nerves. The signals to the sympathetic nerves with the help of the spinal cord comes from the vasomotor area. Similarly, signals through the vagus nerve the parasympathetic uh, signals also come uh, from the vasomotor area. Now, the, we have discussed that there is another area in the vasomotor center that is known as the sensory area and sensory area basically takes the input from blood vessels. It takes the input from the blood vessels with the help of nerves and it analyzes and then it decides whether uh, the body needs vasoconstriction or vasodilation. Then, we discussed that the sympathetic nerve, the sympathetic nerves once activated with the help of vasomotor area has a lot of vasoconstrictor fiber but some vasodilator fibers as well. So how with the help of all these uh, the higher centers of the brain, the vasomotor area, the, the, the areas inside the vasomotor center and the, the sympathetic and uh, the sympathetic uh, vasoconstrictor and vasodilator fiber how they help in rapid control of the arterial pressure now whenever there is a stress like condition or when there is a need to rapidly increase the arterial pressure when there is a need need is the first thing need could be any stress fight flight fright response whenever or a person is exercising this need will cause the uh, vasoconstrictor and cardio accelerator functions of the sympathetic nervous system. The vasoconstrictor and cardio accelerator functions of the sympathetic nervous system get activated when there is a need to rapidly increase the arterial pressure. So, the vasoconstrictor and cardio accelerator functions of the sympathetic nervous system get activated. These two areas get activated with the help of the vasomotor center. And then there is inhibition of the parasympathetic area. We discussed that basically the when the sympathetic area gets activated, the, the sympathetic area causes vasoconstriction most of the time it causes vasoconstriction except in the muscles which is uh, causing vasodilator because it is causing vasoconstriction with the help of vasoconstrictor fibers when the sympathetic system gets activated and it is causing vasodilation with the help of vasodilator fibers with when the sympathetic gets activated and when the parasympathetic gets activated it causes inhibition of the heart rate with the help of vagus nerve so we have discussed that these both these signals come through sympathetic and vagus. The vasoconstrictor and vasodilator fibers, they get activated with the help of the uh, sympathetic fibers, the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator fibers. 
and the vagus nerve basically causes the parasympathetic uh, impulses the vagus nerve is responsible for taking or transmitting the parasympathetic uh, signals so when there is a need to rapidly increase the arterial pressure the vasoconstrictor and the cardio accelerator functions of the sympathetic nervous system get activated inside the vasomotor center of the brain the the area which is causing the constriction of the blood vessels and the area which is causing increase in the heart rate they get activated with the, they get activated and that is with the help of sympathetic nervous system which gets activated with the help of vasomotor center and there is inhibition there is inhibition of the parasympathetic area there is inhibition of the parasympathetic area so when these three changes occur activation of cardio vasoconstrictor area activation of vasoconstrictor area activation of cardio accelerator area and inhibition of parasympathetic area it leads to constriction of the blood vessels due to vasoconstriction it leads to increase in the heart rate and the pumping of the heart due to cardio accelerator functions and it it basically stops the function of the vagus nerve which is basically trying to decrease the heart rate when these changes occur it leads to constriction it leads to constriction of the arterioles constriction of the arterioles so here we have the arteries and here we have the arterioles this area gets constricted when the these areas gets constricted there is the pressure develops the pressure develops because blood cannot flow easily so blood starts accumulating here so pressure builds up or it leads to increase in preload similarly constriction of the veins occur constriction of the veins constrictions of the arteriole occurs and it leads to increase in the arterial pressure increase in the resistance peripheral resistance increasing the preload and constriction of the veins occur these large veins they get constricted when they get get constricted they get squeezed the blood over here it goes directly towards the heart when it goes towards the heart the heart receives more blood the heart the heart receives more blood when more blood comes to the heart and here the the heart is pumping blood into the arteries and this blood cannot go easily because of the resistance so a lot of pressure develops here when the heart receives more blood the heart muscle gets stretched when they get stretched they when they stretch more they can they basically uh, pump more blood when the heart muscles are stretched more they basically pump more blood this is basically frank starling mechanism when more blood is coming more uh, when with more uh, blood coming to the heart more blood goes out of the heart so when the vasoconstrictor area cardio accelerator area of the sympathetic nervous system get activated and the parasympathetics get inhibited constrictions of the arterioles occur constriction of the veins occur constriction of arterioles leads to pressure in the arteries constriction of the veins lead to more blood flow squeezing the blood towards the heart and then finally stimulation direct stimulation of the heart occur indirectly with the help of more blood the heart its heart is already getting activated it is already pumping more but direct stimulation due to sympathetic nervous system activation also occurs and when direct stimulation of the heart occurs heart is pumping more the heart rate increase more similarly the power of the pumping also increase so heart rate increase the power of the pumping also increase when all these changes occur the arterial pressure can increase two times the arterial pressure can increase two times in just 5 to 10 seconds in just 5 to 10 seconds due to any stress the arterial pressure can increase up to two times and this increase the 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 function or the main purpose of this two times increase in arterial pressure is 
to provide more blood provide more blood to tissues where it is needed for metabolism because the body is in stress there is a need so the nervous how the nervous system is helping in rapidly controlling or rapidly increasing the arterial pressure it it uh, it helps in rapidly increasing the arterial pressure because there is a need to increase it there is a demand for increased blood flow in the tissue there is a demand due to increased rate of metabolism there is a demand due to any kind of stress so in such conditions the sympathetic nervous system in the vasomotor center gets activated it activates the vasoconstrictor fibers it also activates the cardio accelerator fibers and it inhibits the parasympathetic fibers all of these the cardio vasoconstrictor the cardio accelerator and the parasympathetic uh, the sympathetic and parasympathetic all these signals basically are controlled with the help of vasomotor area vasomotor center of the brain when these changes occur constriction of the arterioles occur it leads to increased pressure building in the arteries it leads to constriction of the veins which lead to squeezing the blood towards the heart and it leads to direct stimulation of the heart which leads which causes increase in the heart rate and increasing the pumping power of the heart and when all these changes occur it can increase the arterial pressure two times in just 5 to 10 seconds now the reverse is also true when we when the the when there is a loss of uh, when there is like no need or there is a need to decrease when there is a need to decrease the arterial pressure the same changes can be reversed and the arterial pressure can be decreased it can be decreased two times in 10 to 40 seconds like the arterial pressure can be decreased half of the uh, or it can go to half of its limit in around 10 to 40 seconds so that's the role of the nervous system in rapidly controlling the arterial pressure all the, the purpose of the this discussion the purpose of discussing all these topics is to show that nervous system is basically playing a role in controlling the uh, arterial pressure and the nervous system basically is getting inputs from the body and according to the input it is providing the output and for the circulation and for the circulatory system the input and the processing unit which is getting the input and providing the output that processing unit is basically the vasomotor center so that's all about the role of nervous system in rapid control of arterial pressure thanks a lot for watching the